So take usually when people do like Fungel zero zero one, or our um, any kind of blossom gel, you always usually put it on the nail first, right? And today we're not going to do that. We're actually going to put it on our palette. I'm going to do two different variations of the design. So one I'm actually going to paint. I did one neon green, so I'll paint this one teal. So one will be on a natural base and one will be on one of the colors that's in the marble. Look at that teal, you guys. She is no joke how smooth that coverage is. So sickening. There's one coat, no joke. So we're gonna bake that. And then let's add some to our fun gel dabs. And make them all different, have fun with it. That's the most important thing, is have fun with the design. I think that's a big problem that people have when they do nail art, especially when you're not good at it, is that you overthink it and then you don't enjoy the process. So we're going to use the neon green. Bye bye. We've got a little bit of the nude. BB76. Bye bye. Just to liven her up, give her some dimension. And last but not least, neon yellow which is gel polish 160. some gold okay beautiful so then you're going to take your vegan liner brush we're going to use a lavender one which is a short one and we're going to swirl the colors together something super important to remember is don't over swirl it okay People always want to like over swirl the colors. Don't overdo it. Just a little bit goes a long way. Okay. If you overdo it, it'll mud the colors too much together. See? Don't overdo it. Beautiful. Now we're ready to rock and roll. So we're going to do the one on the natural base first. Make sure your brush is dry, okay? Hello, hello. Clean, clean, clean. And then you're gonna pick up the design. So hold it almost like you're, it's a spoon, okay? Scoop up that color and apply. Another really important thing is always angle the nail down. Wipe the brush, wipe the brush, make sure it is clean. If you leave gel on the brush, you'll actually get a really muddy uh, line and it won't be clean how we, like how we want it. Pick 
pick up the next one. And we're always angling the nail down, okay? Bye bye. Doesn't that look dope? Wipe the brush, wipe the brush. Pick up a little bit more right here. Beautiful, wipe the brush, wipe the brush. And then we're gonna take our liner brush. We're gonna pick up a little bit. And then we're gonna fill in the gaps. Isn't that dope? And super easy to do as well too. Somebody said, I bet your handwriting is amazing. No, it is horrible. It looks like another language. That's how bad it is. We're gonna get some black. We're gonna get black in two different ways. So one is just plain black by itself. And then this one is going to be black mixed with a uh, fun gel. So a little bit of fun gel, 001. Drop of black. Mix it up so that we have a blooming black gel concoction. Cocktail. Wipe the brush. And then we're going to pick up a little bit and use it right here. So you see that the black that has nothing in it, you get a really sharp line, okay? So when you're detailing the design or when you're adding more black, don't overdo it. We always want to tend to overdo things, and then that's when we run into issues. Beautiful. Look how dope that is. Now you're going to take your Lux brush wipe and run it against the side. Always with the nail angle down, and this is going to remove any excess. That might have ran. And keep the nail as skinny as possible. Beautiful. So let's bake it for one minute inside the Dazzling Darling Lamp and let's get our teal base one ready. And then we'll do this one so you guys can see what it looks like already with a color on the base. So we're gonna pick it up. Go in. And let's do this one going this way. Focus camera. Wipe the brush. Let's 
go ahead and get another little dab. Remember, keep the nail angled down, okay? Stunning. Look how cool that is. Okay. And then I'm gonna take some black. Or actually first I'm gonna take this, move it down. Pretend this is a cuticle area, go around the cuticle so that you get a really clean cuticle area. regular black. light wow so beautiful and then if you want to I want to add a little bit more neon to it just to give it more light so I'm going to take neon yellow which is 160 do a little dab right there Always remember to keep the nail angle down, and you can see that it just really adds a lot of light to the nail. And then wipe the side so that we remove any excess. Take it now. 
and then you would finish with some shiny gel or some wonder. Cool that is. And it has so many layers and dimension. And you can literally do this in pretty much any color as well, too. Well, my loves, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little demo. I can't wait to see what we're going to come up with this technique. Stay safe, stay out of trouble. And don't forget to visit enocouture.com for the best nail products in the universe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody.